KTSA News Flash. A cold front is coming. KTSA AccuWeather Meteorologist Dean DeVore says the high temperature today will be about 93 degrees, but get ready to chill out. Then a front's going to come through tonight into tomorrow. Some showers and thunderstorms. Highest temperature tomorrow, 69 degrees. Some of the storms tonight along the Hill Country and the Interstate 35 corridor could contain small hail and strong gusty winds. A San Antonio firefighter has died after falling off a fire truck and getting hit by a van. Greg Garza and his crew were checking out a report about smoke at a hotel just east of downtown San Antonio early this morning when the accident occurred. Garza, a 17-year veteran of the fire department, was getting some equipment off a fire truck when he stumbled and fell, and then an oncoming van hit him on Live Oak Street. He was rushed to Samsi where he died, and the mayor is asking that flags be flown at half-staff in honor of Garza. Fire Chief Charles Hood says he's stunned and the entire department is hurting. Reporting from downtown San Antonio, Elizabeth Ruiz, KTSA News. The Fort Worth Police Chief says there was absolutely no excuse for the shooting of a woman inside her home last weekend. The arrest warrant affidavit for former officer Aaron Dean says he never identified himself as a police officer before shooting Atiana Jefferson. There's absolutely no excuse for this incident and the person responsible will be held accountable. Ms. Jefferson's family and our community will have the last word. Interim Fort Worth Police Chief Ed Krause says Dean only yelled, put your hands up, show me your hands. Each and every one of you have our support and our commitment to serve you better. We strive to be better every day. Krause says the Internal Affairs and Major Crimes Units are working with the District Attorney to make sure the case is prosecuted properly. Alan Skaya for CBS News, Fort Worth. Donald Trump Jr. is coming to San Antonio today while he's uh, campaigning for his father's re-election. He's often asked whether he plans to run for office himself. Here's what Trump Jr. recently told Fox News. I'll never rule anything out. I do enjoy it. I like being in the fight. I like being in the mix. He'll be accompanied by his girlfriend, Kimberly Guilfoyle, and uh, senior campaign advisor for uh, President Trump's re-election campaign, Brad Parscale. The event is now being held, or said to be held, at the Henry B. Gonzalez, Con- Gonzalez Convention Center at 4.30, after originally being scheduled to be held at the club at Sonterra. Former HUD Secretary and former San Antonio Mayor Julian Castro wants to make sure the moderators in tonight's Democratic debates held in Ohio ask about housing. I've challenged the New York Times and CNN to ask a question about housing because I'm sure you all see here in Columbus that there are a lot of families that they're having to pay 50, 60, 70 percent of their income in rent. Like the rent is going through the roof. The debates come just one month after the last presidential debate that was held in Houston. At an event in New York today, Google is expected to show off a new phone and other devices. On display, a new Pixel phone that will have an updated camera and an emphasis on artificial intelligence features. The Pixel will have motion sensing technology that lets users skip songs or turn off alarms with a wave of a hand. The phone will be unlocked through facial recognition. There is also speculation that Google will announce a new smart speaker and wireless headphones. Dave Schreiber, ABC News, New York. KTSA Money News. A tale of two cities on the earnings front today. J.P. Morgan Chase says profit rose 8% to $9.1 billion in its third quarter. That beat expectations. Meanwhile, rival Goldman Sachs says profit plunged 26% to $1.88 billion as it took losses on some public investments. Johnson & Johnson is also out with its quarterly report card. The healthcare products giant says profit topped $4.8 billion, which was better than expected. But legal troubles are mounting for the company as it faces thousands of lawsuits ranging from claims its baby powder causes cancer to allegations it played a role in fueling the nation's opioid epidemic. California is banning school lunch shaming. Governor Gavin Newsom signed a bill which mandates that students with outstanding lunch debt should not be shamed or treated differently. The bill says indebted students can receive their meal of choice, even if their parents or guardians owe money. And almost every driver is a critic of fellow motorists, but are the drivers in your city really that bad? If you live in Portland, Oregon, that would be a yes. According to Quote Wizard, that city has the worst drivers in America, followed by Boise, Idaho, and Virginia Beach, Virginia. On the flip side, Motor City, Detroit, topped the best drivers list. And that's your CBS MoneyWatch.com report. I'm Diane King-Hall. KTSA AccuWeather.
Very warm and humid this afternoon. Some sunshine, the high at 93. Partly cloudy, not as warm, but humid. Shower and a thunderstorm around tonight. Low tonight, 58 in the Hill Country, 63 along the Riverwalk. A couple of morning showers, thunderstorm for tomorrow. Otherwise, clouds and breezy, high 69. Thursday, sunny to partly cloudy, high 74. I'm Steve Williams with your KTSA Stevens Roofing AccuWeather Forecast. I'm Dennis Foley. Get news around the clock in 550 KTSA FM 1071. Get news anytime online at KTSA.com.